Whether they're dangling from a helicopter or saving someone from the edge of a dangerous cliff, Central Okanagan Search and Rescue treat each scenario with the same intensity. Because when it comes to saving someone's life, there's no playing around. The rescue to save four people from a vehicle rollover last Saturday near Heyman Lake may have been dramatic, but the victims remained calm thanks to the skilled search and rescue members. They, uh, they were obviously shaken, they were scared, uh, but they were very calm. They were pretty glad to see us and they were glad for the help. The victims were conscious, which allowed for the rescuers to have a better grasp of the situation they were facing. If they're conscious, you know, we've, that's taking care of the first few steps of the ABCs of first aid if they're conscious and talking. But we're going to ask them where they're hurt, we're going to start questioning them, we're going to look around for hazards in the scene that we have to be careful of, and uh, we're going to start uh, our first aid routine. With over 30 members belonging to the Central Okanagan Search and Rescue, each volunteer has a set of skills that are imperative when administering first aid or evacuating victims, as was the case last Saturday. Some people have fantastic first aid skills, some people have great tracking skills, some people are better at driving ATV, some of us are better at rope rescue or swift water rescue. So depending on the situation, we'll put certain people into certain positions. These men and women volunteer countless hours to saving other people's lives and are on call 24-7, regardless if they're out at a family barbecue or enjoying a lazy Sunday afternoon. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.